Prince Harry utilized pictures of his children Prince Archie and Princess Lilibet as he reinforced his image as a family man during a passionate speech in New York. The Duke of Sussex used his appearance at the Clinton Global Initiative to call for action to tackle the pervasive threat the online world poses for children. Warning. Our kids can't wait. The royal was the star guest at the event on Tuesday, as he closed the session entitled Everything Everywhere All at Once. At one point, Harry pulled his mobile phone from his suit pocket and explained that a picture of Archie and Lilibet was his lock screen. He said, my lock screen is a picture of my kids. What's yours? At this point, photos of young people shown as images on mobile phone lock screens appeared on the large screen behind Harry. The Duke said, these children and thousands more meant the world to their families. Their beautiful faces you see before you, their smiles, their dreams, all lost, all too soon, and all because of social media. Harry has been flying solo in the Big Apple without his children or wife Meghan Markle. Some reports suggested he was happy with a break from family life, but he was spotted on Monday enjoying a video call with his family. During his address, the Duke suggested the harmful effects of social media meant people were being used for a human experiment rather than enjoying a human experience. Pacing back and forth across the stage throughout, he said there was critical work to do and it was a crisis that cannot be ignored. We can't wait. Our kids can't wait, Harry said. He added, we need a better digital future. One that we all deserve. We were promised a human experience. Instead, we've been a human experiment. Harry and Meghan's Aochoa Foundation launched the Parents Network last month as a support network for parents of children affected by online harm. He added, I stand before you today to speak about the pervasive threat that our online world poses to us, especially our children, if we allow the status quo to remain. In an age where our lives are intertwined with technology, we cannot afford to only see the online world as a space for profitability, competition, and rapid growth. In a call for unity, he urged people instead to come together to ensure the digital space is one that fosters well-being, connection, and hope. In his 11-minute address, he stressed the surges in anxiety and depression linked to social media platforms, with challenges compounded by the spread of unreliable and unfounded information. He added, these platforms are designed to create addiction. Young people are kept there by mindless, endless, numbing scrolling, being force-fed content that no child should ever be exposed to. This is not free will, I like many of you, did not grow up with a phone. Young people today possess an incredible understanding of technology that older generations may struggle to grasp.